Leagues here and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint the front and back grills, probably not the back but I'll just do the front as a demonstration but on an Astra, obviously I've done mine before and it's come out a bit more grey black and it's starting to come off after giving it a good clean with the jet wash but uh, I'm going to respray it today with some primer and do it properly and show you guys and talk you guys through how to do it on an Astra H. So first of all what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start unscrewing these screws on the grill in front of the car. So there should be three screws as you can see what I'm doing here. There is one on the right and two on the left. So the what like you've got two obviously you can see exactly where I'm doing it. It's like just slightly off to the side and then one exactly the same on the right just right on the end. So you want to unscrew these screws and then once you've got them unscrewed there will be some clips underneath which I will show you in a minute. So here is where the clips are, so all you're going to need to do is you're just going to need to pull up on the uh, grill itself and eventually it will pop out. You're going to need to be quite rough, don't be too gentle with it because it is quite well in there. As you can see in a minute I do give it a good pull and there you go, it pops out. So it's fairly easy to do, don't be worried about breaking anything, just give it a decent pull. Obviously not enough to actually break it but uh, like I say, do not be afraid to give it a good hard pull to be able to make sure it comes off. So to finally get to the spraying, what we're going to have to be doing here is we're going to have to give it a good old shake for about two minutes normally, oh, uh, yeah, or just until you can hear the actual ball thing inside uh, shaking. Uh, fairly easy to do, so just give it a good shake, make sure you have shaken it up before you do spray it. And then as I do it, just keep it at a decent distance from what you're actually spraying here, uh, and just keep going backwards and forwards, I think is probably the easiest way to do it. That way you cover it all, and it does, it does take a little amount of time but once you've done it and you've done it right then you'll be happy with it unlike my first attempt where what I did was I just left it uh, <laughs> I didn't even bother using primer so obviously here I'm using primer to start with but at the first point I did not use primer and I just sprayed it with the black spray paint and eventually after a good few uh, uses of the jet wash it did start to peel off and it just looked absolutely awful so I would suggest using primer here and then as you can see, I went for the Vauxhall Diamond Black. Uh, I didn't have much of it left, so I did use it a bit sparingly here. Uh, but you guys, if you've got a brand new one, you don't need to worry about using it sparingly. Just give it a good old few layers. Like, if you're gonna use primer, I would suggest using primer for about two layers. And then for the paint, use again for about two or three layers, just to make sure it works quite well. So each, each time you're leaving it, I'd say leave it about 15, 20 minutes before you give it another spray, another coating, just so it comes out as the best it would come out. Obviously I've done it and it's left a few cracks in it, but like I say, I wasn't, this was more of a quick job. I didn't really have the time to be sitting around all day, but if you guys want to do it properly, I would suggest leaving those 15 minutes in between each uh, time and redoing it over and over. I felt someone touch my ass. My name is Cleveland <laughs> Brown and I'm from the USA. And finally, as you can see here, I'm just clipping it back on and doing, basically reversing exactly what I did at the start to restart it, not restart it, <laughs> um, to just put it back on so it's all fixed and put back together. And then I will show you the final product at the end of this video as a little cinematic bit just before I end it. But going on to the back of the car, I won't show you it in this video, but simply you just completely redo this process, which you've been doing here, except you, on the black, on the back chrome strip, on the bonnet, not bonnet, on the bumper, not even the bumper, the boot, I should say. God, I can't speak today. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get some masking tape and you're gonna wanna get some newspaper or just some sort of paper to cover up the bits that you're not gonna, you don't wanna get sprayed. Uh, and then just 
redo the process which we've just done in this video uh, for the back bit so it's fairly easy to do you just need some masking tape to cover up the bits obviously you don't want paint on so that is today's little video hope you guys enjoyed hope this was helpful make sure to like and subscribe for more smack yourself notifications if you want to see me set space again and i will see you all in the next one phoenix salute out